In this tree block exercise, we will show you how to create laterals diagonal to the tree rows. This is common in walnut groves in some areas. Here we have a typical layout. The tree rows are vertical. In this layout, trees are uh, 20 feet apart, and the tree rows are 26 feet apart. The sprinklers are every second tree, effectively creating a 40 foot uh, sprinkler spacing by 26 feet in a triangular layout. The parameters for the sprinkler block are ha however quite different. We're running the, the laterals diagonal and this creates a perpendicular distance between laterals of 31.70496 feet and the distance between sprinklers is 32.80244 feet and there is an offset of 25.65%. The tree block tool enables you to create this layout without calculating these sprinkler spacings. To demonstrate this tree layout, I'm going to draw a rectangle approximately 600 by 300. Set the origin as 0, 0 in the bottom left and 602 by 310 in the top right. I also want to draw in a reference line for the first tree row. I'm going to start that 15 feet out and up from the corner. And then I just want it vertical and the length doesn't really matter. I'm going to select that rectangle and then go to Uricad Tools and Tree Block. block. Yes, to use the boundary. I prefer to use a circle or a point. Uh, symbols can take up a lot of memory and create slow redraws. Circles are perhaps easy to see. I'll set the uh, diameter to 2. The spacing between the tree rows is 26. Between the trees is 20. It's a rectangular spacing. And I want to define the row direction in the reference tree by myself. So once that is set, set, we click OK. And for the row direction, I'm going to snap to this line. And then for the reference tree, I'm going to snap to that point there. And we have our tree rows. It's useful to just draw a guideline where the uh, lateral lines are going to go, just to picture it. And that's a an approximate line there where the rows will go. So now we're going to select the tree block boundary and go to zone and spray irrigation block. Yes to use the boundary. In this example I'm going to use the Nelson R2000 with the Acme thread, the K2 K2 15 degree number 10 nozzle at 35 psi. The riser that I will use is this one here with the Acme thread. Unconnected laterals. And in the options window, we are going to use the tree block. And from a tree row point of view, there is a sprinkler every tree row, but every two trees, and it's going to be triangular. So we click OK and OK. Click approximately at the end of that line and the end of the line there, and then click where the uh, default sprinkler will go. And then I'm going to turn off the outlet wetted radii. And we can see that we have our pattern. Every second tree, up and down the tree row, every tree row with the laterals moving diagonally. Now we can delete our line and delete our guideline here.
we created this block using zone spray irrigation block, which means it's a block entity. And we used unconnected spray lines, which means it is possible to delete individual segments. But being a block entity with this version of software, it's only possible to delete them one at a time. So perhaps the best me method, uh, if you're happy with the layout, is to explode the block. To explode the block, we first need to select the block. You can see area is highlighted. I'm pressing the tab key to get the tree block. I will click on it and explode the block. Now I can, uh, for example, select those top segments, zoom in a little bit, select delete type, click on that segment and delete them. And you could repeat that process around the boundary of the block if you wish.